Hey, this is Mo Smokes, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Shisha Bucks Cloud Micro. So what you see in front of me is the portable bag that the Shisha Bucks Cloud Micro comes in. You have a strap, you have a handle at the top. Now we're going to open this up and see what's inside. As you can see, the Shisha Bucks Cloud Micro was designed with portability in mind. Everything fits inside the base, the base fits into the bag, and the bag fits in your car, in your carry-on, what have you. I bought this originally with the intention that this was going to be my new portable shisha and it ended up being my everyday shisha and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But first, let's talk about what's inside the base and what comes with the Shisha Bucks Cloud Micro. First up, let's start with the base. The Shisha Bucks Cloud Micro comes with an acrylic clear base. It's acrylic, not glass, again, made with portability in mind, made with durability in mind. On the front, you'll see the Shisha Bucks logo. Above that, you'll see a line, and that's actually the fill line. That's how much water you should put in your base. So they take the guesswork out of how much water should be in the base for you. Next up, we have the three-piece handle. You'll notice that all of these aluminum pieces, and they are aluminum, are anodized. The hose comes in three pieces. So to put the hose together, you have the top of the hose, goes into the middle, goes into this piece here, and there's your hose handle. If you'd like, you can make this shorter by taking out the middle piece. Next up, we have the anodized aluminum tray. On the bottom of the tray is the chamber. The chamber actually has a built-in purge and it's four ways. And you'll see how that works when I'm smoking this a little bit later. But it makes it to where when you purge, you're able to get all of the smoke out of the base usually in one exhale. Next is the anodized down stem. The down stem goes through the middle, you pull it in here, push it through, and there you go, it's ready. Next is the anodized diffuser, which goes at the bottom here. You have a grommet, and then you can just put it right onto the base. To do that, put it in an angle, push down, and then just twist. To remove it, it's the same process. Twist, push up, comes off easily. You'll notice that when you're pushing this down or trying to remove it, it's a nice tight seal, no air escapes. Next, we have this, which is where the silicone hose plugs in. So there, you just plug that in, and then you have a port for your silicone hose. The silicone hose goes into the hose handle, just push it in, take the other end and push that in here. I actually prefer to do it like this, where it's in my hand, and then plug it right into the tray. That's really how easy it is to set this up. Let's go through what anodize means. Anodizing is a process that converts the surface into something that's more durable and corrosion resistant. That means you don't have to worry about rust, that means that you don't have to worry about that impacting the case in any way, and that means it'll last a long time. Through the anodization process, it means that the color isn't applied, it's actually integrated into the aluminum, meaning that it won't chip, it won't fade, and it won't peel. It'll always look like this. I can tell you I've had mine for two years. This is two years old. And I haven't had any issues with fading, any issues with discoloration, any issues with chipping, anything like that. So first, let's talk about why I bought it. As I mentioned, I bought this a couple of years ago because I wanted a portable shisha. I wanted something I could easily throw in my car, I wanted something I could easily throw into a carry-on, and something I wouldn't have to worry about breaking. The problem is I fell in love with it so much in using it as my daily shisha that it ended up never leaving my house. I've used this bag one time. I actually had to go find it in a closet because I had no idea where it was. Let's talk about why this is my daily shisha. Usually when I'm smoking, I'm smoking right where I'm sitting right now. That means I want something that's low. I don't want to put it on the ground. I want to be able to put it on my coffee table. This is low enough that it never blocks my view when I'm watching TV. It's also quiet enough to where it never interrupts the audio when I'm listening to something, whether it be music or a show or a movie or what have you. I also like it because honestly, it hits like a champ. In my view, it can go toe to toe with any shisha out there. So you saw how I put this together. Now let's talk about how easy this is to clean. So it's just the reverse of the process. You take this out and usually I just coil this and set it aside. Then. You twist the top off and you pull straight up, it pops off. You just take the components off, pull this off. Usually I use warm water and a soft sponge on this, and then I air dry. Same with the base, 
And the thing I love the most about the base is the opening is so wide that I can easily get my hand in there, again with a soft sponge, and scrub the sides. That's something that I can't really say about a lot of shishas that I have. Usually I have to go in there with a brush, I have to let it soak in warm soapy water for a little bit, make sure I'm scrubbing the insides, and you know, it's always difficult to get to those corners. Not the case with this. Here again, I can easily put my hand in there with a soft sponge, scrub the sides, turn it over, let it dry on a dish rack, get a paper towel, dry the excess if I need to, and I'm good to go. Now personally, I've never used this base. I've always used this base. This is the tinted base. This is not included, but it is available on Shisha Bucks' website, and I just think it looks a lot better with the red. Now, let's talk about the cons. There's always gotta be cons, right? One thing that I found is that condensation tends to build up over time, and eventually you'll get a few drops of water in your hose. This is never a big deal to me. I just remove the hose, go to a sink, blow the water out, and I can put the hose back in, no problems. I mention this because it might be a problem with some people. I usually don't experience this until about two hours into my session. So it takes a while for the condensation to build up. For those of you out there that have sessions that last less than two hours, this is not going to be an issue for you at all. For those of you that do have sessions that last longer than two hours, keep that in mind. The next thing is, I've tried using this with foil and quick lights and foil and coconut coals. It's fine, but I highly, highly, highly recommend using this with a heat management device and coconut coals. The smoke that you get is just on another level. Personally, I prefer the Shisha Buck Stratus HMD and I use that whenever I use this. Lastly, they're kind of rare. So when I was trying to buy this a couple of years ago, it was out of stock and it was out of stock for a month or two. Finally, it came back in stock. I bought mine, I told a bunch of my friends, hey, they're available, you guys should grab them now. They grabbed theirs and maybe a week or two later, they were out of stock again. Just keep that in mind. If you want it and you see it available, grab it as fast as you can. Also, another thing I want to point out, I know I mentioned that this thing is really easy to clean, but really the game changer for me is that Shisha Bucks offers a silicone replacement kit. The silicone replacement kit includes a new chamber, new purge balls, this grommet right here, this grommet right here, these two rings right here, this silicone right here, and the ball that's inside the diffuser. The next thing I want to point out is I know a lot of people complain about getting tobacco stuck in here. It's not actually a big deal if you know how to clean it. Really all you need is a spoon. So what you do is you take the end of the spoon, put it in there, you wedge it, and you pop it up. As you can see, the ball is now free. The diffuser looks like this. And you can get the excess tobacco out, put the ball back in, and put this right back in really easy. Now let's put this together and smoke. All right, so we're back. We have a bowl pack. We have it on the Shisha Bucks Cloud Micro. Now let's smoke. You can't really hear the bubbles. It's pretty silent, it's pretty quiet. Like I said, it's ideal for watching something on TV or listening to music as you're smoking. Now I'm gonna show you the four-way purge. So now I'm just gonna blow out. The smoke that's built up in the base is expelled through the four-way purge. I have a clear base now. This has been Moa Smokes. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Moa Smokes. I'll see you next time, and happy smoking.